Hello and welcome to 3030 Eklavya. Thank you so much everybody who's joining and we are doing this in English uh, on Monday. Uh, the next day, so we've decided every time that we will do uh, the regular episode of 3030 Eklavya at 4 o'clock on Sunday in Hindi and then followed by 4 o'clock next day. Same, um, uh, same content uh, in English or similar content I would say of course within a day we would like you know some thoughts emerge, some more things come in the mind and so it'll be a little different but still um, you know in English. So thank you so much every single one who's joined all across the country. Thank you so much. Thank you so much CBSE, all the state boards or and we will try to see some of the registration uh, data from where all people are joining, teachers are joining, students are joining. So thank you so much. And I want to say at the onset, of course, thanks to CBSE, but absolutely amazing work that all the lab mates and teammates that we are doing from CCL because of which we are able to bring you this episode every Sunday live at four o'clock and, and, and uh, you know, uh, again on Monday. Uh, it's absolutely an amazing work. I come and speak here on the TV or on the internet or on YouTube, but it's absolutely all the 14 of us that we spend the whole week um, uh, you know, days and nights just working, creating activities, doing new interesting things, all of that to bring back that spice in the curriculum uh, that you see at, at my at the back. So, 30-30 club here, bringing back that spice in the curriculum, bringing back that gleam in the eyes and of course, looking at, may enabling you to look at things in a very different way, look at life in a different way, look at curriculum in a different way, so that everything that is around you, you can look at, you can start looking um, at, at interesting science and math, uh, that is all around you. And then if we start exploring that, then life becomes joyous, education becomes joyous. It's a different way, 30-30 Eklavya is a different way of looking at education and science and mathematics in particular. So with that, thank you. Thank you so much. My name is Manish Jain. Let me just uh, um, uh, do the usual stuff. My name is Manish Jain and I'm calling from uh, IIT Gandhinagar. This is Sabarmati. This is IIT Gandhinagar and this is where our lab is. Center for Creative Learning, IIT Gandhinagar, bringing back that gleam in the eyes and spicing up the curriculum. All the state boards were joined. Thank you so much. CBSC students and teachers, parents and elders, every single one, thank you so much for joining and hopefully you can bring everybody together so all of us can look at, uh, you, you know, uh, education in a different way. It is not just that Bollywood and cricket have to be interesting. I think absolutely all of us at CCL and IIT Gandhinagar believe that uh, science and math and education in particular can be made very interesting, engaging and inspiring just like NEP uh, thinks we would want to do. The goal of the lab uh, is, is to bring back that gleam in the eyes like you see here. This is how our lab looks like. Of course, another reason, uh, another, um, you know, uh, look at the lab. <coughs> and, uh, you know, at the beginning, I thought, what is it that we will do? Of course, we'll look at Pankaj's rocket, Newton's uh, second and third law, action and reaction. But when we go into details, of course, we'll talk about it. Initially, I like to do a little bit of logistics. Um, you know, this is where all the registrations are coming from. Uh, as you see, all across India, you know, every single state, almost uh, 1.4 lakh uh, registrations from all across the country. Of course, um, this is the data of all the state boards. So you see CBSC is down there with 1.25, almost Savala, 1.25 lakh registrations, Gujarat, Uttar Pradesh, Maharashtra, long ways to go, long ways to go for all the states. So um, really, really encourage you, really, really, uh, you know, it will be nice, it will be great if if, if the word can be spread, if you can uh, let all the other fellow teachers and, and, and uh, students and parents know about 3030 Eklavya, um, so that all the state boards, people from all the state boards can also join, take advantage of the program. It is completely free. The program is absolutely free. Participation, enrollment, watching, everything is free. And uh, let me show you this uh, logistics. This is the website you can register here. Uh, this is where you answer your questions. This is the website. And of course, if you replace this by certificate, then this is where you will get your certificates from and I'll show what the certificates will look like. This is how the participation certificate will look like. Two hours worth of training or course if you want to call it. So uh, for each episode, we will give you this starting 10th of October. Starting 10th of October, you go log into the website ccl uh, slash itgn slash eklavya slash certificate. There will be a tab on the website. You click on that and you will, uh, if you have done the homework, this is what the certificate uh, website will look like uh, CCL, IDGN, Eklavya certificate. If you click here, we start giving certificates on 10th of October. 
um, starting from 10th of October, of course, um, th the reason being that there are a little bit of logistics issues on the website, we are trying to fix that certificates from 10th of October for each episode participation certificate of uh, work, um, I mean, equivalent to two hours of a course or a workshop for that particular topic or module and the completion certificate for 30 hours of uh, workshop or training or um, uh, course, the whole course, 30 hours. So do join in, only certification has a cost. Uh, everything, participation in the course is absolutely free. Please try to see if we can all together, together, like we say, we can spice up the curriculum, together we can make learning engaging and inspiring. And I think this is how we will do it. Um, last time we did this episode, something very interesting happened. Lots of people gave us very interesting feedback. I did just take a few minutes to go over that. Uh, and this is Adil Ahmed. And who's saying that please switch on the fan snap <laughs> don't worry about the voice quality of course i do not switch on the fan because then my you know mic that i have here this 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 mic that i have here um it is it is actually pretty sensitive and so it'll catch it'll catch any noise and and, and i hear the same noise here and i get distracted so i would rather Adil bhai, I will rather um, not uh, not switch on the fan, maybe sweat a little bit, maybe it's okay. My, of course, the shirt gets all wet uh, this time and, uh, you know, hopefully, uh, and AC will, of course, uh, I, I mean, I, and he, he, he sort of knows, he says, I don't I know you won't go for AC, I don't know how he knows that. But thank you so much for your um, uh, comments, feedback, uh, rectification 3030, oh. Rectification hatega jab 3030 stem, desh ka bacha Kabhi ban mat <laughs> of course, we'll try to see it's a lot of work. It is, I mean, yeah, while all, it is good to hear that, you know, kabhi ban mat na, but it, it is a lot of, lot of strenuous, I would say, lot of effort that goes into bringing one hour of episode without 15 activities. And this time, uh, some very interesting, I think, and, and, and the real reason we can keep going and, and keep doing the whole week is because the amount of support and um, messages and the judao or the lagao, like I say in Hindi, that we feel, the connection that we feel uh, with all the uh, students, that is what, you know, gives us the energy to keep going. So thank you so much for being that battery, uh, for being that energy, which makes us, uh, you know, come uh, come with these interesting things. Uh, for I really believe, I really absolutely genuinely believe that we can absolutely make learning as interesting and engaging like cricket and Bollywood and I'm nothing against cricket or Bollywood but I think you know there has to be an option I, I think it behooves upon us it is absolutely important upon us to make sure that we can bring in these hands-on activities create questions that make you think and do projects that make you slog days and nights and then the joy that you get should come and reflect in the classes and I think that is the most important thing in my opinion that we have to do in education and that is what we are trying to do at IIT Gandhinar in CCL with uh, 30 30 club so thank you so much for joining um uh, absolutely spellbinding now Nav uh, navanya uh, says that recreating boring topics with interesting fun filled experiments uh, uh, mr spice kyunki unke math mein wo tadka lagate this is of course in english he's saying that you know you 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 spice up the curriculum so thank you for that uh, enhancing our teaching prakash yadav who's a teacher uh, students were so excited that something new is going to happen uh, and I think somebody mentioned they have written a song. And I, I let me just try to see if it's the next. Um, uh, I, ah, my children prepare song to motivate your team member. Please do uh, send uh, Mrs. Hetal Gohel. I would request you or re encourage you to do send uh, the song that you have written to motivate us. Please do send the song. Please do send the song. Um, <coughs> Thank you so much for the feedback and, and, and like, like, like last, time, last time I said, um, lots of people actually, we asked you to do these challenges where you will send a lot of videos of all the four things that, uh, and, and it is so heartening to see the videos coming from all different parts of the country. This is the video from, uh, uh, from a girl in Gujarat and she has hung these, uh, you know, uh, I think small balls on a thread and she's trying to throw a ball to trace the path of a ball. Uh, and of course, in, in, in the home, in the uh, living room slash, um, uh, kitchen which is all together and you should look at how and she throws it and of course there is an issue with this uh, the length of all the balls are, uh, are, are are in a linear are linear and so so something interesting but this is something that has happened a beautiful video that came in from uh, Takshila International School and you see the ball actually traces the path and goes uh, and touches all the balloons and this is exactly what uh, we were trying to sort of say so uh, and we will discuss uh, when you do this your your lengths have to be in the ratio of 
1, 4, 9, 16, 25, all the square numbers and so on and then it will work all right. Uh, this is another beautiful thing and we said if you can put a pendulum on any moving object and move the car or bike or whatever so that the pendulum doesn't move and of course it requires tremendous amount of school. Once it moves at the same speed, of course, it will stay the same. But initially at the start, if the pendulum doesn't move, that is where the skill of the driver uh, comes in. So thank you so much for sending that video. And this one where um, the goal is to throw the ball so that it falls vertically. And it can happen only when you throw the ball, which is equivalent, but in opposite direction to the speed of the cycle. And you, you see in this case, it is uh, the ball was actually making a little bit of a parabola. So what needs to happen is something like this. And this is what Pankaj Boss did. Uh, you know, if the ball velocity is in one direction, vehicle is in another, same speed as the ball, I mean, as the scooter, and you see, the ball actually falls in a vertical line. The ball actually fell in a, as a vertical, this is what we were expecting. So today, um, we have absolutely very interesting things. I think we are running a little bit uh, late. So hopefully today you will excuse me if we run over time. Uh, but we have absolutely magical things. And this is what we are trying to do. Non-stop Newtons. You see news all the time. You actually see news all the time. And, and we spend all our time watching news and cricket and Bollywood. I thought, we all of us in the lab thought we can make Newton's law as interesting and engaging. So 15 absolutely engaging unique activities on newton's law in one minute just like they say breaking news so there you go and i think i'll try to Thank you so much. So that was non-stop Newton, one minute, 15 activities. And that is what we are going to do. Uh, uh, that is what, and I, I, I think because of the time, we might not be able to, to, to do a lot of, or all of those, but we will uh, definitely try to uh, do the best that we can. So please, please stay on, please stay on. And uh, of course, uh, the first question that should come on your screen right now, and I think it should have been, um, we should look at the answers for the first question uh, before we, we go any further. The first question, of course, was, in the nature, which of the Newton's law starts working on the first, uh, you know, first on an object, and uh, and we will see. We will look at the answers. A lot of you have given uh, different answers. This is the, the this is the question that is on your screen. First law, second law, third law depends on the situation, and all work together. And um, you know, some of the answers that we saw. Um, uh, uh, so let me look at the answers, uh, you know, and, and we will discuss uh, the answers in a, in, in a bit. So uh, what we're going to do today, let me do a little bit of recap, uh, uh, a little bit of what we're going to do today. And, and this, this should come uh, again uh, on your screen. Um, let me take you to that slide. And uh, there you go. Uh, this should come on your this is what we are going to do today. We are going to look at velocity, acceleration and force, free fall, <laughs> spinning, elevator going down, reduction and weight gain and things that you see absolutely amazing thing that we are going to do. And, uh, and let me just uh, switch on to a different uh, frame and the curriculum, the, the topics that we are going to discuss uh, are, are these. Um, so there you go. Um, and uh, is it? You know, maybe it is a little bit out of screen, but we are going to talk about velocity, acceleration, and speed. Class six to twelve: centripetal acceleration, gravitational force, free fall, and acceleration. Newton's second law, Newton's third law. Misconceptions of both of those laws. That is what we are going to do today. Um, and, and to start with, I want to do a little recap of how we are going to do this. Last time we said that for anything to start, 
for any object to start we need a force from from rest to uh, you know uh, for it to get any speed for anything that is moving for it to stop we need to apply force and that is what we talked about last time and and that is because of inertia you know if, if something is moving but i wanted to add another thing today and the that thing is that for anything to change speed also you need force so while anything is moving at a constant speed nothing but if you have to change the speed you need a force so that's the third thing start uh, stop to start or from start to stop or if you want to change the speed how much distance it covers uh, you know speed uh, all of us sort of understand what really speed is and now i want to change the fourth thing add another fourth thing where we need force and that is where uh, you know we will we will discuss a lot about newton's fourth uh, second law the fourth thing is even to change a direction we need force so if the if anything is if anything any object or man or anybody is moving in a straight line no problem no force is required constant speed but if you have to change the direction of that object force is required so four things and that is why and this is a very interesting concept called velocity and i want to take a minute to distinguish between velocity and speed speed with direction is called velocity so if we add the directionality which direction any object is moving along with its speed that is called velocity in in scientific language and introduce this term is introduced to actually just absolutely beautifully define where force is required if you want to change the velocity force is required and you can change velocity by either changing the speed or changing its direction and how uh, uh, just uh, just changing the direction and uh, you know um, uh, and for that of course you need a force so uh, it's a beautiful uh, uh, let me just take you to ipad uh, change uh, uh, the scene so to to start the motion to stop the motion to increase or decrease speed and to change the direction increase and decrease speed and in fact uh, let me just finish this and then we will come to what increasing decreasing of speed is but before that this is the second question hopefully will go come on your screen but before that let me just um, you know show this beautiful video to you you see just focus this is a sprinkler where the water is coming out and it seems like the water is actually spinning in a some sort of a spiral you see you see that is what is happening and the question is why and how is this happening and let me take you uh, to the next question um and uh, next question that is should come on your screen now there you go. after coming out from the sprinkler in which path does each of the drop travel as seen from the top is it circular is it spiral is it straight line <laughs> or is it a fake video it's a camera trick you see um in here if if these drops are coming out why is it going in a spiral or is it actually going in a straight line and the reason we are asking this question is you see because in this plane in one plane when you are taking the shot from the top in this plane uh, the the drops are actually moving in a circle which means somebody is pushing them like that in this direction otherwise if you look at this uh, this drop if i don't apply it any force it will keep going like this why if it changing the direction then something else must be going on right and so where is that force coming from why is it going in a spiral that's the question and of course let's now let's and let's look at the answers and maybe um, i will reveal this to you of course Uh, they are actually going in a straight line they are not going in a circle or in a spiral it seems like that that they are going in a spiral let's look at this video again so hopefully it will be clearer now focus on this gola on this circle you see it is actually uh, going in a straight line so basically what is happening is i will draw the picture now this drop is actually <coughs> moving in a straight line this another drop will actually move in a straight line this other drop is actually moving in a straight all of this let, let okay let me just take focus on the uh, drop again let me start that video again and you can see this is actually moving in a straight line this this drop that started from here ended up moving in a straight line similarly this drop will end up in a straight line this 
all of them wherever they start it they will end up in a moving in a straight line because there is no external force for it to change the direction these are all different drops and that's why which came out from the same sprinkler at different times it seems like but this drop for instance will go like this this one will go like this all of them will go in a straight line their velocity will increase only in the vertical direction that is why but it seems like they are going in a spiral but they are all different drops so that's why because in this plane there is no force to change the direction the only force is downwards the force of gravity its speed will increase downwards but not in this plane not like this it will not change like this a gol gol nahi ghumega it will not go in a circle each drop actually falls down so that is what happens uh, this is because of uh, uh, you know of course in some sense first law of um, uh, first law of newton also called the uh, newton's first law or whatever the inertia there is a, a horizontal speed in this direction because there is no force it will keep going in that direction once i have that speed and i have that direction i will not change unless i apply force in that direction and that is exactly um, you know what 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 we try to show with this um, uh, video now the question is and, 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 and that is what and but now the question is how much so when you apply a force And so the question is, how quickly we apply that force? That is also so. Your speed is changing when you when you uh, you know uh, uh, try to change speed. You require force. The question is, how quickly you do that? How quickly you can change speed? That is called acceleration. And so amount of force required is also proportional to how quickly you can change. And of course, how big uh, the body is. And for that, um, you know, let me just show you this beautiful video. And that is called acceleration. let me show you this uh, uh, amazing uh, video that we 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 shot where pankaj is trying pankaj is coming uh, moving backward in a straight line and, uh, uh, and 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 jay is trying to stop in this much distance and so jay has this much time to make pankaj's speed go to zero and let's see what happens and then we will keep reducing the distance and you will see as the distance reduces the amount of force required is more so there you go not much force they can stop in that distance now we reduce the stopping distance same speed but now you know you apply more force and now within this much only you have to stop and you have to apply a lot of force and that is exactly uh, uh, you know what is called acceleration the amount of time in which you speed change your speed whether you increase or decrease is called the acceleration or the amount of time in which you change the direction also because it is velocity that is called acceleration just like the accelerator of your scooter which is um um which is coming right here uh there you go there you go the acceleration this is something that you might have seen this is called the accelerator you switch it on and the speed of the scooter increases right uh, and which is very interesting right if you change the speed it is called acceleration or it is called axle you know but after some time the speed of the scooter stops it doesn't increase something is wrong we cannot call it acceleration because the speed is not increasing only till the time initially when you press the accelerator or when you rotate the accelerator of a scooter the speed changes after that the speed does not increase so it is not no longer accelerator it is no longer accelerating we call it accelerator but it is not accelerating only initially that is very interesting these things these are words that are used in our daily lives in our scooter in our car the thing that we press when you press it the speed increases but only for some time after after some time it stops because we will see why even though the engine is applying a force it is not increasing because and this is where the concept of comes up net force uh and 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 we will talk about that but 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 in a minute just before we define um uh, we will define the this something called uh, you know when you are talking about acceleration the amount of force that is required is proportional to how quickly you change the speed so like you saw pankaj if it stopped in large distance apply more uh, small distance apply more force large distance takes time to reduce the speed acceleration is less force is less 
and of course instead of pankaj if the weight was somebody who was coming was a small boy or a child or whatever to stop that we had to apply less force so then we can say that the force that we apply is proportional to mass the amount of weight that whose velocity we are trying to reduce uh, uh, speed we are trying to reduce or direction we are trying to change and in how much time we are doing that and that is basically force is mass times acceleration force is proportional to that mass jitna jyada vazan the, uh, the the higher it is that much force you need and similarly for you to accelerate anything you need to uh, much more change the speed much faster apply more force but that is not enough if the if the body is like the earth and this is where the question comes in if there is a stone and you try to push that stone big stone big rock you cannot move it that doesn't mean you are not applying force just now we said apply force things will change velocity will change but only when the net force is greater than zero when you are applying the force on a big rock as you see uh, right here let me show you that big rock this guy is trying to push a truck uh, and it is not moving you are trying to push the truck not moving why the, you know applying the force like this on a truck uh, you know in, in 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 this plane not moving why because there is friction force friction force and so the net force is actually zero only when you when this person is able to apply a force which is greater than friction then net force is greater than zero and the truck will start to move and so that is one key thing we'll have to remember the reason anything and this is the same reason why after pressing the accelerator the scooter was not changing the speed or the velocity why engine is applying force but at the same time uh, the, the 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 wind velocity the drag and the friction from the ground they are also applying the force in opposite direction and that's why <laughs> so it doesn't move uh, i mean that why the, the it is not accelerating net force is not is non zero i mean in, uh, net force is uh, zero and that's why uh, if net force is non zero definitely the acceleration will happen either the speed will change or the direction will change that is the basic concept of uh, of of newton second law force is proportional to mass and force is proportional to acceleration similarly i can say acceleration how much quickly faster you want to change the speed is dependent on the mass of the object the larger the mass uh, um, you know uh, the larger the force the quickly you can accelerate but per unit mass force per unit mass if the force is very less and the mass is less then you can accelerate very fast but if the force is uh, less and the mass is more you cannot accelerate so force has to be force by mass or force in respect to mass or force with respect to unit mass or force by mass uh, is acceleration so either ways we can uh, you know look at all of that so that is exactly what the second law talks about and and in, it is interesting now we can discuss this uh, first question about uh, you know uh, which and, and let me go back bring that question uh, you know and uh, you know this this hopefully you can see the first question that we were talking about which of the newton's law work together and this is where i think the answer i i i should reveal the answer now um you know all of them work together we cannot say sometimes it seems like the first law pehle aati hai then second then third no nature doesn't run like that i mean of course you when you write you have to write chronologically newton probably said first second third whatever but all of them work together anything that is falling down and this is where uh, the next thing we are going to talk about which is you know action reaction also a little bit uh, you know in in a bit but basically if anything that is you know take a simple ball when it falls down all three laws are happening together first the ball is falling down it has it doesn't have any horizontal speed it keeps its inertia of horizontal speed uh, zero and that is the first law it increases speed because of force of gravitation um, uh, you know acceleration is happening acceleration due to gravity is happening in the vertical direction it increases the speed uh, and that is the second law and the object is falling down because of the gravitation of earth similarly earth is pulling it down and this thing is also pulling the earth back up and that is actually uh, you know newton's uh, the third law and we will see a little bit later and those forces are exactly same uh, but but we we don't see earth moving but we only see the object moving and we will see why but the force applied is exactly the same it is very counter intuitive beautiful example to see that um, and 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 i think we will not do it now we will just finish uh, you know a couple of things that we wanted to talk about in the second law and then we will come to this beautiful example so basically what we are trying to say is all three newton's law work together you cannot have first law working separately second third uh, they all work at the same time and instantaneously immediately three ye nahi ki pehle first lagegi fir se ek sath all of them uh, you know will just just happen uh, together so um, so that is what it is so uh, 
we just saw that larger the force, larger the acceleration. Uh, uh, um, you know, for anything to increase, uh, uh, for any, uh, the, 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 the more, the, the quickly you want to change the speed of anything, the larger the force. The larger the mass, the uh, larger the force required to change the speed. So force is mass times acceleration. And, and, and of course, all of that works only because net force has to be greater than zero. Only then will the acceleration or the change in speed happen. And, uh, and you can see that. You can see this in vid this video where, um, you know, very interesting video. And th that the force is also proportional. I mean, force, the body movement of the body is also in the direction where you apply this force. And, and so just let's just look quickly look at this um, video. So you see Pankaj pushing uh, Vipul Bhai in one direction. In whichever direction the force is, Vipul Bhai is moving in that direction. Now the force is in uh, in an oblique direction and Vipul Bhai is moving in oblique direction. In a straight line, whichever direction the force is. However, now let's see what is happening now when the force is being applied. And uh, let me just uh, take you to another, uh, you know, let me just take you somewhere. Yeah, here you go. And uh, and this is where we will start. Um, so now what we are doing is we are seeing that we are having two people apply force on Vipul Bhai in two different directions. And uh, there you go, uh, two different directions. And both the directions, the force being applied. And you see they are in opposite direction. So the total force that is acting on Vipul Bhai is zero despite that. I don't know why this is not working. Ah, it stopped to work. Ah, sorry about that. Let me come back to iPad. Um, there you go. And uh, you know the initial part of the video. I think we should skip. But you see, uh, we are while you are applying a force in one. Now this is instead of moving in a straight line, <laughs> it's going around in the circle because this is something called the talk. But now this is interesting. The force being applied, total force being applied on Vipul Bhai is actually zero. You see, one force is being applied from here. The other force is being applied from here. Both are in opposite direction. Total force is equal to zero. However, but center of the mass, which is here, we pull by center of mass. That's why the center of mass is not moving. It's only spinning because there is this is this presents a torque. And we will uh, talk about that in, uh, in a later episode. But right now, what we wanted to say, if the total force is zero force, is equal to zero that's why the center of mass center of mass will not move even though it seems like people by is moving but the center of mass you see people by seems like moving but actually it's not moving and this is very very amazing interesting science that if the total force and please remember that that's all there is to total force is zero object will center of mass will not move. it might spin rotate but it will not move and uh, a very interesting experiment uh, of something similar we will see and this is something uh, that that tells us that uh, you know you know science is wrong and and something wrong is going on and and let's just see this right here and this is something that i have here right in my hand uh, something that you can buy from the market is called a slinky and it seems like this is defying laws of physics if you draw this simply and capture this in mo slow motion, and this is actually your uh, challenge also. <laughs> this is your challenge uh, that uh, you know when you when you when you drop this, uh, uh, what happens? Let's let's just just let, let's just look at that. It seems like it stays in the air. Beautiful experiment. And let me start this again. You see, Ashutosh has dropped, and it seems like the slinky is actually not falling at all and only now it starts to fall and what is going on and this is seems like uh, you know science that is defying uh, uh, newton's law when you drop this it is actually not falling and it seems like that and it seems like that um uh, seems like that but let me just uh, let me just see ah <clears throat> seems like that but actually what is happening is something very interesting and and we will see this in the next video you see now what is going to happen here what we have done is kept the ball at the same point as the center of gravity of the whole slinky you see it is not exactly at the midpoint 
but somewhere down lower because here this is stretched more here this is stretched less so center of gravity is towards the uh, bottom so basically we have kept the ball at almost the exactly the center of mass of the slinky and you see what will happen now if we drop both of them at the same time wow beautiful so now you see both of them actually touch the ground at the same time which means the center of mass of slinky or slinky was actually falling on the ground it just its center of mass was falling at the same speed as the ball at the same because they had the same height same speed and that's why it took the same amount of time however it seems like this bottom part was actually hung in the air and let us let me just try take a minute to explain why it seemed like this was hanging in the air it means if this is hanging in the air this bottom part if i just look at it it means its net force must have been zero and actually that is exactly uh, what it is if i just look at this bottom part its weight is acting downwards but there is a tension in the spring i mean this is like a spring so the spring is pulling it up and that's why this total force on this is on just this part is zero that's why it stays here till the whole thing comes down and then this force becomes zero so then the total force is only downwards and the slinky, slinky uh, uh, falls exactly um, you know um, slinky falls exactly uh, like a like a standard like a regular ball or standard object which also means that if if i were to put a ball at the top part of the slinky now the ball and the center of mass of a slinky is right here so which means the ball should take much longer and that is exactly what will happen you see The slinky which was at a lower height falls down faster or takes less time to fall and similarly if i keep the slinky at the bottom most point now the ball should fall faster i mean before uh, the slinky touches the ground absolutely amazing so that is that and th this brings me to the challenge you have <laughs> to get a slinky from the market or if you can it is uh, it is about 10 to 20 rupees or something like that suspend a slinky position the ball such that the slinky and the ball touch the ground at the same time and then the next part of the experiment could also be you put some more weight here on the slinky and then see what happens then where do you put the ball but always ball and slinky touch the ground same time that is your challenge. Send us your videos uh, at uh, CCL, I mean, Eklavya at, let me just erase and write the email clearly. Uh, send us all your challenge videos at Eklavya at iitgn.ac.in. So this is our email. Please make sure you send all your challenge videos. And um, now let me <laughs> move on move on very interestingly so that is how we saw the free fall and 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 sometimes it seems like when we throw the ball and, and now you see if we throw two things one is 5 kg and one is 500 gram it seems and this is what aristotle was also uh, saying and thinking before galileo proved him wrong and when he tried to figure out the mathematics and this is what we're going to try to do next the mathematics of the free fall how much time it takes to cover the same amount of distance we are going to do that part of mathematics in this physics or in this science um, it seems like if there is anything heavier more force you know obviously right if you are heavier the earth is pulling you down you have more gravitational force so if the force is more you should fall faster and that is exactly uh, this is the question that that uh, you know uh, should come on your screen now uh, which ball will reach the ground first if they are dropped at the same time uh, from the height of 3 meters? 5 kg, 500, both will reach together, result will be different each time. Alright, so that is the question that uh, you, you know you should try to answer and, and while, we, while you try to answer and of course you can answer on itempool.com slash ccl slash live. But uh, we, we did this experiment, we thought why don't we do this experiment in IIT itself and, and this is what we try to do. Um, you know, let me take you there. <coughs> This is what Jay tried to do. Okay. Uh, no, this voice is not clear. And let me just see if I can. Let me just see if I can get. Uh, 
ओके ओके लेट्स ट्राई टू सी इफ दिस वर्क्स देर यू गो क्वेश्चन इज इफ आई ड्रॉप देम फ्रॉम दिस साइड व्हिच विल हिट द ग्राउंड फर्स्ट आपको क्या लगता है भारी भारी वाली आई थिंक दोनों सेम टाइम में गिरे भारी वाली जल्दी गिरेगी भारी वाली ग्रेविटी पर गिनती आपको वैक्यूम में तो दोनों सेम टाइम पे बट अदरवाइज भारी भारी व्हाट अबाउट यू हैवी हैवी एंड व्हाट अबाउट यू सेम वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग Uh, and we will we will look at the results later but this is amazing we did this experiment right here in iit gandhinagar we asked uh, all the visitors and students and everybody who were there uh, in the quad which ball will fall faster of course the gravity uh, is more uh, on on the on the heavier ball but let's see what happens let's see what happens and then we will also look at your answers um, and this is the result oh no 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 wait 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 sorry i didn't change my screen Okay. There you go. You see, almost at the same time, almost at the same time. That is exactly what happens. Uh, uh, you know, um, <laughs> when you and, and and the reason is very clear and very similar, very simple, right? That uh, the force of gravity, of course, is more on the heavier ball, but its inertia is also more. and so for it to reach that acceleration for it to reach that speed it will take more force and for a smaller object it will for reach to reach that uh, same speed it will uh, take less amount of force force by mass is that acceleration i mean qualitatively you can look at force is more for a heavier object because it has a larger inertia for a larger inertia to change a speed larger force is required so larger force gets compensated by larger inertia and that's why the acceleration due to gravity the amount of time in which it increases the speed remains exactly the same and that is 9.8 or almost 10 meter per second square which basically means in free fall on earth you know after 1 second your speed will be 10 meters per second no matter whether you are high you are heavy or soft or whatever but of course that doesn't really happen in real life it should if you ignore the uh, uh, air drag and air resistance i mean that is exactly uh, what what you should see here in fact uh, let me just uh, uh, you know take you here and this is the experiment we did uh, aditi did with, uh, with 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 two books uh, and and we will try to drop them here right a book and a paper dropping at the same time you see what happens so of course the book fell first lot of noise and now let us uh, let me just tell you what really happened uh, of course the book fell first and the paper later because the amount of react i mean the uh, the um, air drag that book was feeling was uh, was much lesser compared to its weight and similarly the amount of drag that this paper was feeling was much more as compared to its weight and that's why the total force on the book was more downwards total force net force proportional to the mass was downwards that's why it it its speed was increasing where on the, whereas on the uh, on the paper very quickly the total net force became zero and that's why its speed remains constant so you actually was you were seeing right the paper after a while it just was falling at almost the same speed and that is exactly what happens to leaves and anything that falls i mean uh, very light objects that fall that their net force of gravity is counteracted exactly equally by the drag and that's why they just fall flow down with a constant speed doesn't mean that the force of uh, this friction force is uh, very high no friction force compared to its weight is high which means total force i mean that that their force of gravity down and their friction force Uh, or uh, friction force due to drag is a uh, zero whereas for a book its weight is well, it's very high but that compared to that weight the air drag is much less so total force is down speed keeps on increasing till it hits uh, till it um, till the time that the uh, air drag becomes so much that it counteracts the total uh, weight of the book or anything that falls on at that time it achieves Uh, you know net force is equal to zero which means velocity will not, speed will not increase velocity will not increase and the thing will achieve terminal velocity and that is the term that lot of people use terminal velocity means when your total force is zero whatever your speed is you will keep falling with the same speed that is terminal velocity 
There is no force that is opposing you. Chalti rahegi in 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 free fall often you reach terminal velocity at about five to ten seconds. So uh, maybe if if it takes about ten seconds to reach that uh, uh, you know speed, you will actually be a pretty pretty high speed. Uh, you know uh, after ten seconds in, at ten meter per second square, you will probably be sitting at hundred meters per second. That is when you achieve because when the speed increases, the air drag increases. So your force. तब बढ़ेगा जब आपकी स्पीड बढ़ जाती है दैट्स वाई एट एट वेरी हाई स्पीड्स लार्ज ड्रैग नेट फोर जीरो टर्मिनलिटी सो एंड एंड लेट्स कम बैक टू दैट सो नाउ हाउ डू यू प्रूव दैट द पेपर वॉज एक्चुअली पेपर वॉज एक्चुअली एक्सपीरियंसिंग लेस फोर्स और पेपर वॉज यू नो टेकिंग मोर टाइम टू फॉल बिकॉज अ लार्ज एयर ड्रैग सो देन वॉट वी डिड इन दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट वी जस्ट पुट द पेपर ऑन द बुक एंड देन यू सी वॉट है let me just push it back so now the paper is on the book and you see what happens now paper and book fell at the same time which basically says that it was because of the air now because now paper is on the book it experiences no air drag so it falls exactly as the same time as the book uh, and, and and of course uh, you you can prove that we can prove that by this um, beautiful uh, thing that they did on mar uh, on uh, you know if you get a chance so it is very interesting now how do you prove that that this is there and it is very interesting you can actually go on moon and moon and prove it moon has no atmosphere there is uh, absolutely no air on moon and so if you go to moon take up a paper with you or a feather and a heavy thing and you will actually see that they fall on the same time actually some people you know in in future maybe we might travel to moon so if you get a chance to fly the moon do this experiment like they did the nasa astronauts when they uh, reached moon this is what they did and let me show you that uh, clip <laughs> not not very clear but hopefully you could see uh, that the feather and the, the 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 you know the nut i think he was dropping they fell at the same time i i ran a metal thing right beautiful right i mean of course uh, you will have to travel to moon to uh, prove that but um, but that is what happens in a free fall if there is no resistance force all the objects will get the same amount of gravitational force and 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 achieve the same acceleration if they of course start with zero speed or at the same speed when they fall down but what is also interesting we what wanted to find out is the mathematical relationship of how much time does it an object take to cover that distance when undergoing free fall under force of uh, uh, gravity and for that we did very beautiful experiment and uh, let me just take you um, and show you uh, we went to the third floor of iit building we had this uh, large rope and where we divided this thing in um, um five parts so this is about 10 meters and we we stuck nuts at 2 4 6 8 10 10 and then uh, you know uh, when we drop and we had a, a wooden floor sitting underneath when they drop the nut will strike the wooden board and make some noise and we can find out that a time interval in which it is making the noise and using that one can figure out how much time does it take for the nut to cover 2 meters 4 meters 6 meter 8 meter and 10 meters and let's see what happens no let me just change the screen there you go there you go you see let me repeat this you see first nut will fall quick after that the other nuts were quick falling faster so this one took some time this one took less time this one took even less time this one took even less i mean to cover this 2 meters right this 2 meter this guy took less this nut took less and so on and so forth so as the higher nuts were falling they were taking lesser amount of time so then what we said what should the distances between the nuts should be so that they take the same amount of time uh, so that so that the voices that come are actually tuck 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 it should be it should not be so the voices that of the nut should be equally spaced in in terms of tuck 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 right and let's see what happens so then what we did was um um we had the same rope and 10 meters we divided this length uh, 10 meters by 25 because uh, and then put the first nut so uh, whatever is your length let's say your your uh, the height that you want to do is assuming 10 meters 
10 divided by 10 meters divided by 25 is actually <coughs> uh, 40 centimeters. So first one we do at 40 centimeter at, at one unit, then we do at four unit. So four times 40 is 1.6 meters. And then nine times 40, which is 3.6 meters. Then 16 times 40, which is 6.4 meter and the last one at 10 meters. So you have to put your nuts at 0.4, 1.6, 3.6, 6.4 and 10, which is basically in the ratio of 1, 4, 9, 16 and 25. And now when you drop the nuts, you see what happens. This is just absolutely amazing. Now, now what happens is uh, when the nuts fall, absolutely. This basically says that the distance traveled by in the free fall, distance traveled is proportional to, and let me change the color so that it is visible. Distance traveled is proportional to time square, square of time. So, uh, <coughs> So if I put the distance uh, at, at square, then the time remains constant. If I put distance as square, then the time remains constant. And that is exactly what happens. <coughs> Which also means that in the first case, in, oh, oh, sorry, my iPad. Distance is proportional to time squared. Sorry, I didn't change, I forgot to change the scheme. Which also means in this first case, the time is proportional to root of distance. So first time when you heard, the, uh, you know, because they were equally spaced. Uh, so first time when you heard, let's say you heard it in uh, one second, and this is, then the second you will hear in root two seconds. Third, you will hear in root three seconds. Fourth, you will hear in root four, and fifth, you will hear in root five. So first you will hear one, then 1.4, then 1.7, and then two, and then 2.3. In these times, you will hear the nuts fall. Whereas if you put the distances proportional in square, then you will hear time uh, then in one, two, three, four, five. That's how you will hear the uh, nuts. That is basically showing that that in, in free fall, the distance is proportional to time, uh, time square. Time square. Um, <coughs> of course, assuming that the force is constant, which means the acceleration due to gravity is also constant. And uh, that is exactly, uh, you know, what we wanted to show. <coughs> So this is this is great. This is this is amazing. Uh, you know how we can use simple experiments, absolutely simple experiments. Uh, uh, you know to show uh, uh, to uh, to show uh, the mathematics of uh, of uh, uh, of how uh, you know things change in free fall, how the speed changes in free fall, how is the distance uh, changing in free fall. And actually, I, I actually missed something. Let me and I, maybe let me just take you back a minute uh, to show feeling of the second law. Um, there you go. Uh, no. There you go. And 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 th this is something that I missed. So uh, so hopefully uh, you know, uh, let. <coughs> so hopefully you can see how you can. Uh, <coughs> so this is something that I missed. So let let me just take a minute and 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 talk about this. Uh, uh, imagine li like we said while while talking about the second law that force is proportional to mass times acceleration. So assuming that you have to keep so let's say you have an object and you have to keep uh, if the object is uh, uh, you want to move the object such that the force that you are applying on the object remains constant so if you are pulling it at 10 uh, newtons or 10 kg uh, i mean 1 kg force which is 10 newton then you want to keep that force constant even while it is moving it means that once it starts to move and you will realize that once the object catches speed then you know the 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 the, the rope that you are pulling with becomes you know doesn't remain taut the force becomes zero you have to pull it much more you will have to pull it with much faster speed for you to keep the force constant and that is feeling the second law which basically says if you keep on applying a constant force the velocity will keep on increasing so you will have to run much faster 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 faster, 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 faster for, for the force to remain constant and amazing thing you can do just by uh, doing this so pulling the cart with a constant force the force remains constant pankaj is pulling dinesh on a uh, on a trolley and you see Pankaj is, has to keep moving faster for it to remain constant. And now what we are trying to do is every tick we are trying to apply, uh, you know, a, a mark on the floor. 
after every one second you apply a mark on the floor and then we will compare how much distance somebody has moved uh, you know dinesh has moved uh, in in that amount of time so beautiful and so you see what has happened is uh, <clears throat> when you plot this distance that 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 where you apply it actually is not linear it is as a squared and this is basically what we do it right distance is proportional to t squared another way of um, just showing um, and you can see that you know this these were the distances and they were in this if you see they are in this ratio so another way of showing that um, Another way of, uh, you know, al along with dropping nuts, another way of showing that the distance increases as time squared. This is exactly what, this is exactly what uh, um, uh, Newton's second law talks about. So, uh, great. Uh, now, let us change some gears and, and I wanted to just take a minute to show you something very interesting. And, uh, um, and, and this actually explains all the things about, uh, and gives us great example of how uh, all the three laws act in parallel. Something called action, we, we actually know about this. This is called Newton's third law, action and reaction are exactly equal and opposite. When you hit anybody or when you apply force or any object, um, you know, the, the object will also apply the same force back on you. Exactly same, but in the opposite direction. That is called Newton's uh, uh, third law. Uh, uh, but, but, but a fine example of using Newton's second and third law is to see how you can, and I'm just taking a, uh, you know, a diversion to see, take a break or, or a diversion to show you beautiful, absolutely amazing physics to reduce, use this physics to reduce your weight. So imagine if you don't want to go to a gym to reduce your weight, right? Uh, you don't want to go to gym because it's, you know, it's painful, you exercise, sweat, this, that, whatever, maybe gyms are expensive. What you can do? Absolutely simple. Just move from equator to North Pole. I mean, the other way. Move from, <laughs> from North Pole to equator. You change the latitude down towards the equator, weight will increase. In fact, very amazing. The weight will increase by 3 kgs if you move from North Pole down to equator. 3 kgs from North Pole to equator. You, oh, sorry, your weight will reduce by 3 kgs. It is most at the equator, uh, North Pole and least at the equator. And similarly, I mean, if you are in India, if you move from Kashmir to Kanyakumari, your weight will decrease almost 300 grams. Oh, uh, I think, yeah, 500 grams, sorry. And, and we can show you that calculation. And you can try. Why does this happen? Why does this happen? And of course, the other way is to go in a lift. You know, you are in a lift. The moment lift starts to come down, weight will decrease. And in fact, in fact, if the as a whole, it's good, but if the lift will toot gay or move, it's full speed, say full, uh, you know, free, doing a free fall, weight becomes zero suddenly. You are going free fall, no weight. So when the lift is accelerating, going down, weight becomes zero. When the lift is actually doing constant speed, weight becomes the same as you have. And then when it stops, weight increases. So this is what the technique that, uh, uh, you know, our uh, lab mate Tapas Bai used. And, and then of course, the third one is uh, whenever you are doing, uh, you know, measuring your weight, if you put your hand in a bucket of water, your weight will decrease. Why? Because you are pushing the water down, the buoyancy of the, uh, you know, uh, that buoyant force is exactly uh, uh, working on you uh, exactly in the opposite way at the same time, instantaneously in, you know, upwards. And that's why your weight reduces. The question that begs um, uh, here is that what is it that the, that the, the thing on which you're standing, what is actually, what does it mean by weight? Right? Well, I mean, when you, when you stay, stand on a weighing machine, whatever that number appears, what is that? That is the, I mean, that is actually not your true weight. <laughs> The number that shows on the weighing machine is actually the force that is exerted by you on the weighing machine. It is not your true weight. And in fact, the reason, this is the reason why, um, you know, when, when, the, uh, when you move from uh, North Pole to equator, your weight, uh, 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 you know, decreases. Uh, because the earth is actually spinning. Anything that is spinning gets, tends to go out and that amount of force that it is experiencing uh, because of spin, that reduces your weight. However, on the North Pole, there is no spin, right? You are right on the axis. There is no speed that you have. So, there is no force that is uh, that you are experiencing. I mean, there is um, uh, no tendency that you feel to move outside. And that's why, uh, you know, your North Pole exactly measures your true weight. If you are moving on anything that is constant velocity, true weight. If you are moving on anything that is not constant velocity, which means either changing direction, like in the case of Earth, 
it is spinning at constant speed but changing direction so that's why not constant velocity that is called also called inertial frames of references your true weight is only in the frames of reference which are have uh, no uh, no change in velocity either their speeds are also same the direction is also same then you are measuring true weight anything changes in case of a lift lift is accelerating but when lift is uh, actually right in the middle of true floors when it is not uh, changing speed that is your true i mean in fact that is also not your true weight unless you are on north pole so interestingly let let us look at this video of tapas bhai who is trying to change who is trying to um, you know uh, reduce his weight uh, because he wants to reduce his weight of course uh, but but he didn't want to go to gym and uh, this is what he does to reduce his weight 80 at rest lift starts to go down weight goes down in the middle weight comes back up and when the lift stops weight increases this is exactly what happens let's take a minute to look at it in the start like when the lift starts weight has gone down oops um, and and uh, right when the lift start goes down the weight goes down it becomes 76 and then um, in the middle it is 80 then it becomes uh, when it stops it 84 i mean when it is decreasing it 84 and when it stops it is 80 and so your question can be what happens when the lift tries to go up uh, what happens when it goes up you will of course um, it should seems like when the lift is trying to go up your weight is going down so when when the thing on which you are standing that is trying to go up it means you are pushing more down with this with the acceleration that is trying to go up and so your weight will increase when the lift is actually accelerating up when the lift is accelerating down decrease up increase that is how you increase your weight or uh, decrease your weight and this is uh, uh, or 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 you know by moving from north pole to south pole or and, and or by putting your hand in water which is action and reaction and, and now let me take a minute to um, um, just show you this beautiful video which explains this concept of action and reaction absolutely when you apply beautifully when you apply force and object equal amount of force is applied by you on the at the same time exactly at the same time it's not like aapne pehle lagaya aur phir ye lagata hai. exactly at the same i mean you initiate it but it happens immediately instantaneously exact same amount of force but please don't forget inertia the amount of force is the same but you have to realize what your inertia is and, and this this actually uh, video will convey it beautifully <laughs> it is actually funny and let me play this again this guy is on a, a bike and tries to hit a, uh, a buffalo Ek ko laat maar di aur khud gir gaya. fell down why? why of course my first question is why the heck did you hit you were going from the side why did you have to hit uh, the buffalo uh, you know who was peacefully standing or whatever hit it with your leg and the person who forgot was there is something called action and reaction and inertia you push the buffalo with let's say whatever force the same amount of force you also achieved or got um, uh, from the buffalo but you forgot to realize that you are one sixteen mass of the buffalo what that means is the amount of acceleration you will get six times more bhaiyas ko koi farak nahi bada aap ludak gaye Jisko laat maare dekhi uska size kitna hai bhaiya gadbad ho jayegi. Sorry I spoke in uh, Hindi. But that is the point, right? If you, when you are pushing something and this is exactly what happens when the earth and, and, and uh, you know some earth is pulling something. Uh, same amount of force. You earth is pulling you with the same amount of force. You are pulling the earth with the same amount of force in the free fall. Which means if you are moving, earth is also moving. But the amount of distance that earth moves is proportional to this masses. Because, I mean, if your weight is 1 and the earth is uh, whatever, however many kgs, in that proportion, you will move and the earth will. Earth does move, but both, both come because it has much, much larger inertia. Force remains the same, but force by mass is that acceleration. Force by mass. If your mass is less, force is same, mass is more, then earth will be very acceleration. You will be very uh, 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 you will travel much much more your speed will increase much much more so uh, that is what uh, uh, you know uh, it is um, so so and, and this is this is this is called action and reaction you know so when you uh, when you are applying force and beautiful experiment uh, normally when we say action and reaction this example that comes to our mind is this gun uh, th that that you shoot and there is a huge recoil that you see 
and we did a beautiful experiment i want to show you this. tapas bhai did this experiment absolutely amazing experiment um, uh, to make a gun which doesn't recoil and that is let me just take a minute to show you non recoiling gun non recoiling gun um best way to communicate best way to communicate uh, um uh, this uh, non recoiling gun and there you go you see the gun recoils or this cannon that we have made and it's a air cannon that we have made but now you see something interesting happens and uh, you know we have put the balls on both the ends and you see what happens now no recoil let me let me just play this again so that and now again you see gun did not recoil at all and let me take a minute to show you this um, uh, this uh, cannon that we have made very simply just a simple piece of pvc with a bottle right here and a ball tube i mean uh, uh, a ball a bicycle ball right here of course glued it sealed it so no leakage and uh, this this can come out and we put a tape here tape on top you see tape right here and this can fit it get fit uh, it, you know this bottle can fit in this groove right here we plug the tape you know everything is sealed push the air you know with the uh, 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 bicycle pump so compressed air is right here and then on top there is this uh, cycle spoke right or or, or uh, 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 and uh, you know wire a uh, uh, metal wire you push it down it breaks the tape and the air will rush out of here and if the ball is here it will go like this and you it, the the ball comes out of the cannon like that this thing experiences a force in back direction now imagine if i put this ball right in the middle and both um, let me move my table chair a little bit down so that i can show you uh, if i move uh, if i put the bottle right in the middle so that i have uh, uh, one ball here and one ball here at the other end one ball here one ball here and bottle in the middle now both balls coming from this side and this side they are going in opposite directions total force is zero there will be no recoil in this cannon absolutely no recoil and then uh, this 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 is what you saw and i thought i'll take a minute to show you this beautiful another video that we uh, uh, the, the rocket and this is the actually the ep name of the episode pankaj's rocket cycle which has no how do you move a cycle which has no uh, uh, bicycle gear i mean no, no pedal or chain how does that move it is called a rocket cycle let's take a minute and uh, uh, see this rocket cycle right here okay there you go um aaj hamari cycle mein na to pedal hai aur na hi chain hai lekin newton ke gati ke niyam ke pankh hamare paas mein hai aur unhi pankh se aaj hum cycle ko rocket bana denge wonderful <laughs> wonderful Uh, so you see how i mean of course uh, what we did was put a fire extinguisher on the and, and then when they opened the uh, and this is how uh, the rockets will also move uh, the air pushes out the compressed air co2 was coming out and it pushed the uh, cycle up front without the need for pedal and cycle so beautiful way of experiencing uh, newton second law i thought um, with all of this let me do this uh, take a minute to uh, do this absolutely amazing absolutely amazing activity with you and this is called uh, The, uh, the spinner, the straw spinner, and all of you can do this. You see, three spinners are moving. All of you can do this with just a simple straw. And uh, but for that, let me show you <coughs> some beautiful experiment uh, with this. And then, so please take. Uh, this is called a straw spinner and explains this law of third uh, Newton's third law beautifully. Um, so I have these two straws. bend straws bendable straws and i cut this and put one inside the other like this and you see i am putting it like this and so when i blow oops get <laughs> yeah but that's what is happening and why is this happening that is happening because when this air comes out like this it pushes the straw in that direction 
and so it bends. So now let me change the mouth of your straw like this and see now what happens. Now it goes in this direction, air goes in this direction, put it back. Now what I'm going to do is move it the other way. Now it's going and going sideways and now you see what happens. <laughs> so, so it spins beautifully. If I change the mouth in other direction, it spins the other way. Why does it spin? The air comes out like this, pushes in this direction and starts to spin just like you saw. You know, there is a torque that gets applied. In case you saw Pankaj's, uh, you know, body when we were trying to move Vipul Bhai and Pankaj and Jai were trying to push uh, on the floor, the, the person was spinning. Something similar is happening right here. Beautiful experiment. So next time you go out in the market, put this in your mouth and blow. Everybody is going to look at you. <laughs> Everybody wants to understand Newton's second law. Everybody is going to, it doesn't matter what clothes you wear. No branded clothes in my I just, just, just have this uh, straw in your uh, um, just to have the have the straw in your mouth, start it to make it make it spin, and then everybody wants to know what is going on. Every single person wants to know what is going on. Uh, let, I, my screen was a little bit out, so let me bring this back in. And so now, how this is some something very simple you can make it. But but this other sprinkler um, or or spinner that I had, let me just take a minute and make that for you. Uh, and for that, I'm going to switch you to my overhead camera. Okay, so now let me just show you how to make this spinner and for that I just need a simple straw and uh, I will just take a, you know, a, a small piece of this um, straw here. Small piece of the straw and then what I have to do is bend this in half. Okay, and then make two cuts. Bend this in half. One cut is a little bigger and one cut is a little smaller, okay? So you see like this, this cut is bigger and this cut is the other one on the other side is smaller. You know, press it like this so that this is facing up, the hole is facing up and then we just need two small pieces of tape. Two small pieces of tape. and we will glue, put this tape here. And uh, the other tape also, right here. And take these pieces apart. Make one cut on this side, so that, and you can, okay. And the other cut on the other side. If this cut is on this side, the other one on this side, make another cut, triangular cut so that the air can come out. And that's it. That's all there is that needs to be done. Similarly, on this one, another straw, we made two holes, one bigger, one smaller by, uh, by uh, you know, folding it like this and making these two cuts. So you get these two holes. Then we put this <clears throat> thing inside, one, one toothpick inside, like this so that the on the bigger hole the bigger hole of the spinner and the bigger hole of the straw face in the same direction like this and now i can blow and now let me show you Amazing spinner. So you have to adjust it. Beautiful. And now the challenge comes. Instead of one spinner, I want you to attach this thing. However many spinners you can put here, everywhere it is going, it will come out and it will push all these. And you see. two of them, three of them, four of them. And let me just take a minute to show you this video. And that is the challenge for you. I want you to make sure that all four spinners can spin like this. Um, and let me take you a minute to show you this. 
See, all four spinners are spinning, all four together. That is your challenge. And then the next thing you can do is make the spinner spin all fours along with the bigger one also spinning. See, it is going down and spinning at the same time. And I'm going to show you just in a minute. Beautiful Pankaj. This is what it is. So this thing, these things are spinning like that, small ones, but this large thing will also spin. Remember, if I turn the face like this, like this, and these things as well. So that is your challenge, to make it spin like that, and then also spin like that, like that, like that. And that is your challenge. Put five of them together and make them spin. I will show you all your challenges in a minute. Send us your videos. This is another challenge that you have to do, which is basically a simple balloon. I, I, I do hope I, let me just make sure I have my balloon. I'll bring it right here. This is a simple balloon on which there is a tape and a straw. If you put a thread in and open the mouth, the air will come out like this. The balloon will go like that. And what you have to do is hang a five meter thread and have a race and send us the time. How much time does it take for you to finish that five meter balloon race? This is how exactly it will look like. Um, uh, and, and let me show you. Uh, <clears throat> let me take you here and, and show you how the balloon race that we did in our lab looked like. There you go. Of course, everybody claims that they won. <laughs> Wonderful. So that is what you have to do. Simple balloon. And the reason it is working is Newton's third law. The air comes out and, uh, you know, it tries to, that is going in this direction and the balloon goes in the opposite direction. So, uh, <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, it's the occasion. Just uh, Gandhi Jayanti was uh, there the, just in just a day before, and I thought we should not end this, um, you know, show um, uh, without this charkha generator, right? This is actually, and let me close the lights to maybe uh, make it make it clearer. Maybe um, you see this this LED that is sitting right here, and you see when I spin the charkha, it lights up. Oops. Can you see? It is lighting. So what we have is uh, um, uh, this charkha generator where there is a cycle spoke, there are magnets, this copper wire attached to LED. When we spin the charkha instead of spinning the cloth, it makes electricity, it produces electricity, charkha generator. And you can make this. All of this is made by this simple wooden sheet MDF we have designed in our lab. All the pieces, like all the pieces, they are laser cut. They come out, you join them with rubber band, no glue required and you can make your own chakra. And um, you know, we'll be very happy to send you, uh, go to, go visit the CCL website, CCL uh, slash products and you say uh, order our products on, on the website. And uh, I think the cost is about 500 rupees. We'll send you the whole material along with, um, you know, copper wire, magnets, spoke, uh, LED, everything and you make your own chakra. Um, this this beautiful beautiful uh, you know uh, device that teaches you electricity and of course is very is is the symbol for um, you know uh, the independence uh, struggle that uh, Gandhi ji was involved in his his birthday was uh, on the second of October so as we are celebrating I thought it will be good for uh, for us to sort of look at that so do go check out the website ccl.idgn.ac.in and and look at uh, the products in the end I think I missed. Uh, one or one thing and, and maybe just take a minute uh, because these are common misconceptions that people have about action and reaction and I, I'll just take a minute to finish that and uh, before we wrap up the uh, uh, the episode and uh, the misconception is very interesting you know it is almost like a cart a, a horse is pulling a cart and you say well horse is pulling a cart the cart is pulling the horse back with the same force so how come they are moving and it's an interesting question. That is actually true. The cart is pulling the horse and horse is pulling the cart exactly with the same amount of force. But the reason the cart moves is something else. Uh, and uh, let me take you to uh, 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 this, this slide here. The horse is pulling the cart this side. The cart is pulling the horse backwards. The reason and so with this thing, this so total thing should not move. However, it does because the uh, um, um, horse is applying the force on the ground side and the ground is pushing 
this side and that's the reason because of the force applied by the horse on the ground that is the reason the cart moves and and this is something very interesting we made a car and I'm, i can show you uh, this right here uh, same thing here magnet car if you push the car with a magnet it moves right so why don't we put the car magnet on the car itself and so the this will move uh, perpetually constantly all the time no need no electricity no power no um, you know petrol you see when you attach is there it no longer moves it doesn't move at all it doesn't move at all let, let, let me just um, you know also show you right there right in 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 the ab nahi hilegi you see this car right here it will move <coughs> so long as i push it but when these two are this magnet is pushing the car the car is pushing the magnet total force on this car is zero not move only when you hold it in the hand and push the car will move just like uh, let me show you uh, you know here i take off the chakka and uh, the spinner and the scissor to see if i push this will move right if i take another one If I take the magnet and push, it will move. But if I attach the magnet, then it will not move. If I push the magnet, then the car will move. But if I leave it just like that, the car will not move. And this is something very interesting. Uh, we we also did this this sailing um, uh, car for which you can see the video. Uh, I I I have it uh, with me right here. Let me see if I can show you. Uh, Right here. No, I think I will just show you the video that I have the car here, but it's fan is. Um, let 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 us look at the same thing with this car. This car has a fan, and when the fan starts to move, the car moves. But when you put a sail on the car, flat sail, the car doesn't move. Now what's happening? But if you change the flat sail with a with a cup like a sail sail like a cup then the car starts to move and for you to understand it is very interesting this can be understood by the direction of the air the air flow is in that direction you can see the air direction ah sorry i think i did not change the scene uh, my mistake let me repeat <laughs> let me repeat uh, so this is the car with this this is the car with a fan mounted on it when the fan starts to spin the car moves in the opposite direction because the air is going in one direction car is in the other direction but when you put a flat sail on top then the car doesn't move so now what is happening and then when you put a sail with a box then again car starts to move but in the opposite direction as the one that it was moving with the fan on why does that happen you can see it right here now we are doing the same experiment but with agarbatti you can see the direction of the air air is in that direction so the car moves in the other direction here the air is going in all directions so the net force is zero so that's why the car doesn't move in this case the air is moving back after hitting the sail that's why the car is moving in the other direction so beautiful experiment you can make and do on your own uh, with just a simple car and these two kinds of sail one a flat sail one a box sail and with this simple fan that you can attach uh, on on the on, on the car and, and and do this beautiful experiment so with that i think uh, i will just take you to the challenge and end uh, um, uh, and, and and this uh, hopefully you 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 <coughs> these are the four challenges that we wanted you to do one is the slinky challenge make sure that different uh, you know where you put the ball on the slinky so that they ball uh, both fall at the same time you can keep attaching weight and then you will have to move Uh, the ball downwards or upwards so that they all fall at the same time nut challenge on a rope five nuts so that they fall uh, equally uh, timed uh, the the time when they hit the uh, should be uh, in in constant time thak 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 what what uh, you know uh, and uh, what distances you have to attach nut said uh, spinner that i just showed you how to make that spinner with four different uh, uh, the kinds of spinners and this is a balloon race so send us your time on balloon race five meters balloon race uh, uh, i think we just uh, showed you that you know 5 meter strings to do a race find out whose balloon goes the farthest we will talk about that with that i think we come to the end of this very long episode uh, thank you so much for watching thank you so much 
थैंक यू एब्सोलूटली एब्सोलूटली अमेजिंग इट इज जस्ट एन अमेजिंग थिंग टू कम कम बैक विद यू ऑफकोर्स वी ट्राई टू डू इट द नेक्स्ट डे ऑन मंडे in english we did the same thing uh, on 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 sunday uh, at 4 o'clock in hindi so thank you so much please do submit your homeworks that is when we realize that uh, you know we will give you participation certificates if you submit the homework the homework link will be in the description uh, we will start issuing certificates from october 10th please make sure you join please get all your friends to join thank you so much thank you so much and we will see you uh, let me switch on this uh, <laughs> non stop newton and we will end thank you so much